Good afternoon, guys. This is Lisa from Happy to Hook. Welcome to my channel. This is episode 18 of my crochet podcast. Um, I do a little bit of show and tell of crochet items that I am working on, items that I have already made, and a little bit of chat. If you know, if if there's any available. <laughs> Welcome, um, all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and bringing me in to your homes, uh, taking the time out to listen. I really appreciate that. And thank you for my, uh, or thank you for, thank you to <laughs> my continued followers and subscribers. Thank you all so much. I've, I have um, reached a milestone on my Instagram. I have now, I now have over 300 followers. So thank you all so much for that. You can find me on Instagram and Pinterest under Happy to Hook. So please be looking for me. I have joined uh, Ravelry. I, that's something that I'm working on. Uh, hopefully I, this week I'm going to be out of town. But um, when I get back, I will you know, work on getting that Ravelry up 100%. But it will be under Happy to Hook 13. So you will be able to find me under that. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm trying to think. I've, I'm, I sound terrible. So for that, I apologize. I'll <clears throat> be clearing my throat. We, Abby and I are sick. Jack is just now starting to get sick and Nathan is getting over being sick. Um, so I'm wearing, I'm wearing a hat. I whipped up a, a little beanie to keep on. I'm constantly cold. It's been crazy. And I had the, the ceiling fan was on, but, and I turned it off, but when it's off, off then I'm hot and Nobody likes to be hot, so I compromised. I left the ceiling fan on. I'm wearing my hat, so there you go. Um, I've got um, a few items to show you, mostly hats that I'm making to take to um, the craft show. It's getting down to the wire now. Since I'm going to be out of town all next week, I will not be crocheting anything else um, other than what I make in the hotel. Because <laughs> I do have, look, I have my bag. I've got this cute little... Um, yarn drum my yarn drum here and i am slowly but surely getting it filled up with some items to take with me so that i can have something to do once i'm done um but i do have another sweater that i'm it's still a whip because although it's completed i still need to sew up the sides and and um put the edging on uh but that's another order that i've finished and i've got you know another thing so i'll show you those looks like three items for whips. I haven't, like I said, we've been, sorry, I got to adjust here. We haven't been feeling all that great. So I haven't been too busy. I, I, I really hate when I'm not that productive, but when you're sick, you're sick, right? And Ella at no catchy name, I certainly hope you're feeling better. Um, and so is Jesse. I heard that you weren't, I saw that you weren't feeling well and you know, we're going through it now. The weather change is awful. So I definitely hope that you guys are getting on your feet. Um, let's see. Trying to think of what else. The wet, right now it's it's you know it's gorgeous outside. Um, Jack and I were out there. We went and had lunch, and um, I don't know. It's like seventy degrees. Nice little breeze going on. The sky is a beautiful shade of blue. Um, sun shining, and of course I I'm sick. And I'm at the point now. You know you ugh, you you're coughing, and it's just that that yicky, mucusy kind of cough. But I can't taste anything. I can't taste anything at all. So I've just been drinking lots of water and, you know, Gatorade to get the electrolytes, you know, stabilized and stuff. But yeah, it's kind of a downer, <laughs> you know. So I'm, I've been eating chicken soup and, you know, Panera bread soup, but it's just not the same. You can't go to Panera bread and have their broccoli cheese soup and not be able to taste it. So it was a downer for me. So I'll go back. I'm, you know, hopefully I'll be feeling better. In the next couple of days, who knows? But um, if I pause this a few times because I know I feel like there's coughing coming up, or not coming up, but a, a cough episode, <laughs> and so I don't want you guys to have to endure any of that. Anyway, let's get right into it. As I stated earlier, I have these are whips. <laughs> this is a size small, so it's not really it starts there. Wait a minute, yeah. Starts there and ends right there. So this one, um, it's the same style as you can see. Um, I had like 15 of these, 15 orders. So 
Uh, this is number 13. Nope, this is number 12. Yeah, I still have three more to make. So, and this was made with I Love This Yarn City Beat. I actually found the, the yarn. She liked it. And all I need now is just to allow the seven inches for the arm sleeves, sew this down, and then trim it up. And then it will be complete. I can call her and let her know. So there's that. And that's my one, my one whip. And then I'm also, <laughs> I found this yarn. It's old yarn, guys. It was, I'm, you know, I'm trying to redo my craft room. So I know you see right now that the wall is purple. I really liked the purple, but I think it's, it's making it really dark in here. Um, so I'm probably going to paint it white again, just to, because all of my, um, everything in here is, is in espresso. So it's nice and dark. And of course, if I lighten it up a little bit, I just I just think it'd be a little bit brighter and, and happier room. So um, when I was going through my stuff, I found, this is Lion Brand, by the way. Lion Brand Print Tell Yarn. Look at that. Look at how old that is. But it is such a pretty, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's called, oh my goodness, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Flamingo print, color number 286 from Flamingo print, Lion brand. And it's a three ounce skein. The suggested needle is a G. And let's see, four ply worst of weight. I'm looking to see, it says allergy free, no pilling, moth proof. It's pretty cool. So yeah. So anyway, I found that and I, I had two of them. So I started another little sweetie dress because I thought that would be really cute. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll trim it in um, probably the mint green because I think that mint green is really pretty. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's really nice. So that's my second work in progress. And it's about halfway there. Yeah, it's about halfway because I've got another maybe seven inches to go. And I've got a whole skein, so I know I'll have enough. So I thought that was pretty cool. And oh, and you know what? Hold on. I also found this yarn. And you guys know I'm a Dallas fan. Hold on. I'm wearing the shirt that I bought at the Dallas Stadium in Arlington. So here's my, <laughs> my cowboy shirt. And I found this yarn and it reminded me of the cowboys. It's like a chenille, but I know I have um, a white somewhere, but it's navy blue, a lighter shade of blue, and then gray. That's some, that's going to make a great hat. So I'm excited. See, when you go through your stuff, you find all kinds of, of items and you know, didn't even know you had. Okay. My last whip is um, hopefully going to be finished today. But as you guys know, I got lots of sweet roll yarn for my birthday in August. Um, and then after random Randy, I when it's, it's been a couple episodes ago, but she had told us about a sale that, that Joanne's was having on their sweet roll yarn. So of course I got online because at the time I just had surgery. So I wasn't out shopping. Um, and I purchased some online and they were like two fifty dollars a skein. So I got this one, which I thought would look really pretty as a shawl. So I started it. I'm going to hold it up for you. This is butterscotch. It is of course the virus shawl. And this is one skein. So do you see where, where I stopped? There's the there's a string. So this is one skein or roll, I guess. One sweet roll. I keep saying that. One sweet roll of butterscotch is the colorway. And this is how far I was able to get. So I'm going to do another one. It's going to be nice and big and long. So it should be perfect. And I am using a size N hook. I know it recommended an I, but I wanted it just... Um, I like it like this. I didn't want it tight. I wanted it to be nice and loose. Um, and the yarn's really soft. So I'm very happy with it. I, I really wish this thing would do it justice because these colors are just gorgeous. But yeah, butterscotch. So I'm going to get the other roll and I will be finishing that today. So there's that. I'm not going to, I'm, I'm not going to show you guys the, uh, the scarves. I've been making more, um, more scarves or scarves, cows for the show. So, but I'm not going to show you because they look just like the other ones. They're just the, the, 
caracals that I've been making, do you name a color? I probably made them in that color. But, you know, like I said earlier, it's found on Ravelry. Krista Kangle, I believe, is... I'll put the description again below for the caracal because, like I said, they work up really fast. So if you're looking for a quick project, those would be it. Um, right now, I'm doing my finished objects. I've just got a few hats. Let me grab grab these up here so I can get them done. Okay, this was a really... These are scraps, again. I'm just using scraps. Um, I've been making, as you know, lots of hats with pom-poms or buttons or something. I might put a button on this one. But this was just really cute yarn. And it was um, a chunky. And I had enough to make this hat. I didn't have enough for anything else. So I made a small one. I had to frog the first attempt because I thought I had enough to make maybe a toddler size. But this is definitely a baby. So instead of a pom-pom, I think maybe I'll put um, a button or something on that one. Um, this one was just more scrap yarn. If you, if you remember from the last podcast, I had, I was making a hat out of this orange and black yarn that I found. Um, I have since frogged it, but this was on its own. It was just a little piece on its own. And I didn't want to attach them together. So I just made a little hat. Um, I'll, I have pumpkin buttons that I purchased at Joanne Fabrics. So I'm going to put a pumpkin button right here and that'll be a, like a little newborn hat. Um, uh, and a, a, um, a viewer suggested that I frog that, which I did, the bigger one, because I didn't like how it was looking as a slouchy hat. And I am making a little Halloween bag for um, my granddaughter. So, And I'll put a little face on there. She likes pumpkins. So I'll be putting a little face on there. Um, and this just just basic, just using up the last bit of my little yarn. I'm doing really good, but then when I was going through my stuff, remember I showed you guys this? Well, <laughs> it's getting full again. So I'm right back to, yeah, full. But that's just more hats or scarves or even fingerless gloves. I got to st start that. So this is supposed to look like cheese. Because my one of my son-in-laws, <laughs> he's a Green Bay Packer fan. So I was just thinking about him. He, they don't have any babies, but, I mean, my grandson is two. But I just thought it was really cute, and I thought, well, maybe... Maybe that, would, that doesn't look like cheese. I'll have, I might have to take that out and just, I don't know. But the hat's cute. So maybe I'll just use that and, and um, I don't know, put something here. Or, or I have this color yellow. It's bright yellow. Maybe I'll just put a yellow pom-pom on it. Because that, to me, does not look like cheese. I don't know. It looks kind of, <laughs> it looks kind of goofy. It's just like some triangle. So if you guys have any suggestions to make it look like cheese, then that would be good. I'm not a Packers fan, so... Maybe we, you can figure it out. We can figure something out. I made a Minion hat. It's gold because we watched the Minion movie the other day. And in the beginning of the movie, when they're, you know, showing how the Minions got started or whatever, when they're in Egypt, they're gold. So I just thought I'd make a gold one. People are probably going to look at it and go, why is that thing gold and not like normal? But I thought it was cute. So if I don't sell it, I'll donate it because he's adorable. He is, he is. Um, if I can find this yarn again, this here, I know I have had a roll of it somewhere. I'd love to put a pom-pom on that. This is something I rarely do. Um, usually my hats are made in half double crochet or a double crochet. This is a single because I didn't have a lot of this particular black yarn. And as you guys know, all the yarns, especially the black and the white and tans, they're all different. There's so many different shades of them. And black is really bad. Some of them are really dull. Some of them are really shiny. So I just use this to make a hat. And when I find this, I don't know if this is the black light red heart yarn or I don't know. I know I, I know I had it. I know I've seen it somewhere. But yeah, I would like to make a pom-pom with that color. So I think that would look really cute. So just another little baby hat. Um, this one I might keep for myself because I really like this pink yarn. I make a lot of mermaid hats out of this, and this was just left over for making them, um, not mermaid hats, but mermaid tails. So this was left over, and I just decided to make a little slouch hat with it. But it's, you know, it's stretchy. I don't know if it would fit my big head, but if not, my granddaughter or my daughter, Abby, might like it. But there's that one. And then a green. So there's that folding them up and 
This was another leftover yarn. Had I thought about it, this would have made a good gingy hat because I had an order for a gingy hat and a Shrek hat that went out yesterday. And that's a good, that's a good color for gingy. But I had just a little bitty round ball of um, this really fuzzy. It's an, another, it was another old yarn that I had there and it was wrapped around it. But I thought that looked kind of nice. I don't know if I just leave it like this, maybe put a button or just leave it plain. Not very many, not very many people when I have craft shows are looking for plain beanies. Um, so they always want something on them. So, but I think one of these days we're going to find somebody that's going to go, nah, I don't want all that stuff. And this is just a little one. I, we are um, in Illinois. So um, when I watch basketball, it's the fighting Illini. So that's what I think of when I think of this one. And this is definitely a newborn hat. So maybe a little basketball or something there, and the orange would look really cute. So there's that. And then just another one that's um, maybe orange. I think this was mango. I think it was mango color. There's that. So these are all the plain hats. Let me put those down here so they're out of the way. And then I have just a few more. I wanted to make one of those turban hats. I got the the pattern off of, um, well, and I didn't even get it off of there. I just looked at it and I count. Okay. This is what I did. I counted how many rows she had and how many rows she went up. So that's it. I didn't, I just kind of looked at it and said, I can do that. And so I did. And so there's a little turban hat. I might make, I might make one more. Um, I, cause I'm not sure how these will sell. Um, this is definitely a toddler size. So we will see what happens. But it's super cute because it kind of looks, I mean, it's a turban, but it, to me, it looks like a little bow that's kind of incorporated in the hat. So we'll see how they like it. You know, if, if customers like it, then maybe I'll make more. I'm not sure. Um, this is a Team Spirit hat. Again, I and, and it looks like that orange and black that I used. But um, who does it remind me of? What team? Minnesota Vikings, maybe? I don't know. I can't, I'm, I'm just, my head's still kind of, yeah. but yeah, it made, it made a nice little stretchy. So a little boy would, I think would be, would be nice. And this would be perfect for Halloween too. Cause it's, you know, orange and black. So it'd be a good little hat for a little boy. And then I have this one, which I thought was really cute. And it's kind of unusual colors. I don't even know where I got this yarn from. It was just a little yarn ball. And I thought, Hey, that's enough to make a little baby hat. And I got this color right here um, in a skein. I in my I met, you know looked at it and I said, hey, that might that might look together. I have no idea what color this is. It's just a really pretty shade of green. Looks like maybe a light sage or something, but it matched perfectly. So <laughs> so I made this cute little hat. And it, this could be for a boy or a girl. So there's that one. And then I made one other one. I had this really pretty color turquoise. So I just put white trim and a nice little white ball. And that's all I did. Oh, there's this. I, think I was, I was going to say, I think I was showing you the back of it. But it's really cute. Some little girl or little boy's going to look cute. Do boys wear turquoise? I don't see why not. My husband wears purple, purple and pink um, polos. So... And so, yeah, that's, that is actually all I have. I'm looking around to make sure because I've got, I've been moving things around and Abby's been helping me. And cause sometimes when I'm like down too far, it doesn't work well with me. So, <laughs> and I've, unfortunately, I think I might be getting another ear infection. Oh, oh, cause I was yelling at one of my dogs. We have three dogs. Um, and they do not, they're, they, they're upstairs and they're, they're inside dogs. We have two peekapoos and one Chihuahua Terrier mix. And he's our new one because he just turned a year old. Oh my gosh. He is all over the place. Those dogs, I used to own a Chihuahua when I was a kid, me and my brothers. And I, I forgot how much energy they have. I mean, it's just like nonstop. And my other two dogs, Coco Bear, I, we've got, we've got Coco Chanel. We have um, Bear Claw. And then this one, if you guys watch... We let the kids name him, by the way, him. Um, if you watch Ice Age or if you're familiar with the Ice Age movies, after the, Dawn, I think the Dawn of the Dinosaurs, there's a character in there that's played by Simon Pegg and his name is Buck. 
um, Buckminster. So that's what they named our Chihuahua. Yeah. So his name's Buckminster. And um, we call him Buck for short. And he is just all over the place. So he was down, he came downstairs and I looked at him like, what are you doing down here? And he just stood there and he just looked at me and I go, Buck, you know, you're not supposed to be down here. And so I was, I said, you know, go. And I raised my voice and it kind of sounded like I was underwater. So that's why I think I might be getting an ear infection or the one that I had didn't go away because I'm still taking the pills for um, the, the, the dizziness or the nausea that kind of gets you a little, it gets, it, it makes me a little off. Um, something I want to, um, to ask you guys, um, I don't know when I was first started doing these podcasts, I had, um, a yarn haul of knit picks, 100% Peruvian yarn. I need to know, let me, let me show you a, a, a skein real quick. Hold on. Pardon me. Here we go. So here it is. Okay, it's 110 yards, 50 grams, worse than it weight. Oh, let's see, let's see. I or K hook, Peruvian. Yeah, Will of the Andes. This is opal heather. I love this color. So it's got, it's opal, so it's got like little flecks of color in it. But um, yeah, I have like a whole container. I bought two of, of each color that they had available. And I can't remember how many I have, maybe 25 skeins, it looks like. But um, I need some suggestions as to what to do with this yarn. So um, give me some suggestions because I'm also thinking about doing a giveaway and just using this yarn for a giveaway. You know, a couple of, you know, I have, like I said, I have two of each color. So two of these would be 210 yards. That's enough to make something with. So, um, but, you know, my, my, subscribers are getting up there and on Instagram as well. So if not for a giveaway patterns, but what I would like to do personally is maybe, um, give enough to weigh, enough away to make something, um, maybe include a pattern or a link to a pattern, a free pattern on Ravelry or whatever. And, um, and to use this wool. I know, I know there's lots of things out there, but you know, and I bought this because it's not scratchy. And it, I think that was in the description or somebody had said, well, you know, it's not like, you know, regular wool where it's real scratchy. It's, it's not, it's not rough, um, by any means. And if you were to touch it, I would have never guessed that it was wool, but I don't really deal with a lot of it, of wool yarn. I'm mostly, you know, cotton or acrylic or a blend. So, um, yeah, cause I, I mean, I just don't know. And I'm sure I could look it up, but I, I really want your input. So, I mean, shawls, whatever, whatever this would be good with. You guys let me know. That would be super awesome. Because like I said, I've got plenty of yarn. Um, I am just looking around everywhere. Oh, I did want to, I think I showed you guys that I have. These were on sale at Joanne Fabrics. The, the Red Heart Scrubby. So I'm going to take a couple of these with me on my trip. Um, I got, I don't even have any round scrubbies made. Oh my gosh, I forgot all about that. I'll have to make some for the craft show, guys. Um, because I sold out of them at my last show. And I just made them, I believe it was Be Hooked, um, the Be Hooked podcast. Um, Brittany, is it Brittany? I don't want to get her name wrong. She's so cute. I love, <laughs> I just love listening to her. But she had a pattern there. Um, where you, you know, you chain so many into a square and then you, um, I don't know, there's, there's the way you do it, it, it ends up being a circle. Um, so it looks like a Brillo pad size. So I used one complete skein of this. I made them all in that really pretty, um, turquoise color. I think it was called like ocean blue or sea blue or turquoise blue or whatever, but you can get a lot of these. This was $2 and 50 cents at Joanne Fabrics. Okay. Um, it's, it's been, it's, it's been about a month or so since I bought them. I don't know what they're on sale for now, but I think the regular price might be three, four bucks. Um, it's well worth it. I did not mix it with anything cause I was thinking about mixing it with a cotton. Um, because I do that when I make the face scrubbies, the larger ones. So I decided just to make it with this. So I did. Um, and I used an H hook, I believe. 
and I was able to get 15, 15 of these scrubbies out of this one skein. And I charged $1 for each one sold out. So very profitable. Heads up. And, you know, I got orange. I think I showed you guys, but for my newbies, I got, sorry about the string, green. And I had, went and got another blue. This is the blue that I was talking about. And yellow. And purple, which is really pretty. So, yeah. So I'll, be, I'll definitely be making more. I better put that some of these in a bag or in my, um, my little bag to take with me. And I wasn't sure, you know what? I'm not sure if I showed you guys this or not, but um, I made a smaller Ninja Turtles thing. I just, I just, Pat was in the bag. I don't know why it was in there, but yeah, this is Donatello. I might've showed you already, but isn't he cute? He's just adorable. So hopefully this will sell because it'll be right before Halloween. And um, I did sell, I, I posted the red one, which is Raphael, I believe. Yeah. The red one on um, Instagram and then Facebook. And then I sold it. So I had to make another one, which I did. Um, I don't know where the heck I put it, but well, I got to find that too. Anyway, so then I decided just to make a little baby one just to see if I could do it. Um, and I didn't use a pattern for this. I just kind of winged it, kind of counted and where the center of the hat was and, and the eyes. I might do another row here just to make the eyes a little bit wider because I think it might be a little small. I'm not sure. So if I just make it a little bit wider, it'd be okay. Anyway, I think that's definitely it for the finished projects, guys. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I am going to go and pack up my stuff to make sure I have everything that I need because I will be leaving Monday, tomorrow morning. It, uh, it is Sunday, October 8th. Oh, and I wanted to say um, happy birthday to my niece, Olivia. She is 14 today. And she lives in Pennsylvania. Hi, sweetie. I love you. Um, and my brother, Brian, it's his, his daughter, or Brian, Benjamin. <laughs> See, my head's a little, yeah. I'll get it right. We have a Brian in the family. Does that count for something? <laughs> anyway, guys, um, I think that's it for now. So um, it's going to be a little more than a week uh, for the next one. And if I finish anything while I'm at the hotel, I don't even know if I, I'll have time to crochet anything. But if I do, I will definitely leave it in here. Oh, sorry guys. Little alarms telling me it's time to go. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. <clears throat> sorry, excuse me. <clears throat> here it comes. So it's on that note, um, you guys have a wonderful day. I hope your weather is holding up like ours is. And I will see you probably eight to 10 days from now, hopefully to let you guys know how everything's going, what I finished, because I'll be back Friday night, and then the very next day is my craft show. So, um, yeah, today I'll be finishing up. I've got to get some more pictures made and or uh, printed up and for my signage and, and um, a little bit more things to tag. But thank goodness I've got Abby and Nathan here because they're helping me. So <laughs> Bless their little hearts. And Nathan's job is going well. Somebody had asked about that. Um, they put him on truck because, um, he didn't mind. They said it, you know, on average, you'd be lifting about 40 pounds all the time. And then he goes out on the floor and, and puts the stuff away, uh, make sure it's tagged and things like that. He absolutely loves it. For his first job, I'm just super proud of him. Um, so, and it, you know, like, like I said, it's going really well. His birthday will be this. I'll be gone for his birthday, but he's already got plans. So I'm, I, um, I'll, We've got stuff to do with him after the craft show on Saturday. But on October 12th, which I believe is this Thursday, Nathan will be 18 and our daughter Amanda will be 27. They share the same birthday. So they are nine years apart. Um, and, you know, that's just super special because all of you who have been following me from the beginning know that Nathan is adopted. And I just took that as yet another sign that God wanted him and his sister to be a part of our family. So um, that was just super awesome. And my little Abby is now 11. And we're going to go shopping at Justice for Girls. Oh, boy. There goes a paycheck. <laughs> anyway, um, and she's starting band, guys. She's, I, we went and purchased her flute. So she will be starting band on Tuesday. So I'll have a lot to catch you guys up on when I see you. But it's going to be a little more than a week. Um, probably next uh, Monday. 
if I can get through this craft show and, and everything else. But um, love you guys so much. Um, I really, really appreciate you um, welcoming, welcoming, welcoming me <laughs> into your family, into your living room, um, you know, allowing me to, to chat with you and show you what I've made and, and you know, what's going on in my life. I, I just, I, I do it because, you know, you guys are, I'm getting so much more feedback than I ever did when I first started. I was really worried about whether this was something that I should continue to do. So thank you for everyone who has made a comment, especially all my fellow podcasters, um, Terry at um, Yarnjoy. Um, you've got Kim at Blue Cherub 82, uh, Miss J at Jay's Jams. Oh my gosh, who else? Random Randy, Ella at No Catchy Name, um, uh, Emma Potter at uh, Potter and Bloom. I love watching her. You guys are all wonderful. Thank you so much um, for responding. You know, we all have to stick together. We do this. Um, and you know, it's like a unit, it's a community, a family and all my viewers, you guys are super awesome. Keep coming back to me. I'm, you know, I'm going to have more things for you. I'd like to do some giveaways and get Ravelry, Ravelry up and running. So, um, again, thank you. Have a great day. I will see you when I see you. Happy hooking.